Hey guys, today we're actually going to be talking about something positive. <laughs> I uh, I joke because it seems so often that all we get is negativity. We hear about people plagiarizing work, shady business practices, all these tech companies getting in trouble. But today we're going to be talking about what good happens when you just go and try to help people, specifically in the dev YouTube space, um, as that's been some of the things where I've seen numerous channels and numerous people go out of their way to really share some resources with the community. And it's actually benefited them, uh, you know, more than anything else, but by just by doing good, right? It's nice by trying to help other people out and say, hey, here are some resources for you to use. Go ahead and find them. So we're going to talk about one of those that blew up recently and a couple of others that I find fascinating. <laughs> I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. Dev Mountain has various programs from iOS development to UI UX, full stack web development, and quality assurance. I actually had the pleasure of visiting one of their campuses about two years ago in Provo when they still had a location there. And it was a fantastic experience just to be able to meet everybody, see the campus. And it, one thing that's unique about them is they actually include housing with their tuition. So if you're interested, check the link in the description below. So I actually in the past have done numerous videos uh, about like other coding channels you should subscribe to. I don't have the largest following. And at the time, I think when I released some of these, I think I've done three videos, like five coding channels you should follow, part one, part two, part three, whatever. But I pulled up one of the videos here as I was, I was looking to do my research, and I had forgotten that the guy had messed up my haircut so bad. Oh, my goodness. And I've just been looking at this. I'm like, yo, dude, like... <laughs> Dylan's looking a little sickly here, um, but it's <laughs> it's not a good look. Any anyhow, um, so anyhow, what what I'm trying to say is that I'm I'm a big fan of uh, let's let's put that away. Let's, uh, I'm a big fan of putting stuff out there to help others and not being stuck in this mindset that it's you against the world, right? And unfortunately, I've I've wanted to partner up with companies but they've asked me in the past to do things like well you can't create content for other platforms this or that and they, they sort of have this um i forget the there's like a a latin uh term that sort of encapsulate it but essentially uh zero sum game is uh, is what i think a lot of people would call it where uh, if anybody else's game we don't i don't really see the tech youtube space as that especially when we're in this sort of freemium market so uh, you know we've had giant channels like Traverse Media, for instance, where he, um, you know, just uh, about two months ago, he did 20 YouTube channels following. I was on the list. So I appreciate that. Uh, they got the old, um, the, the old um, stimulus package because I about 7%, I, I just got like a 7% growth of subscribers, which is great, man, because maybe I can, you know, help me reach my goals of hashtag 100,000, the dream uh, road to 100,000. So subscribe if you haven't. But um you know, also some people know, oh, hey, I didn't know Dylan was out there and all these other YouTube channels. And, you know, and part of the reason I share this is in this case, Brad's not going to gain any subscribers. Right? Brad's got all the subscribers. Uh, hashtag Brad's on that hashtag road to a million, which he deserves in its completeness. But it's nice to see that people are throwing content out there designed to bring, you know, as the tide rises, everybody rises with it. And I'm a big believer in that. And um, you can see something recently where my uh, my co-host on Self Taught or Not, um, Eric Hanchett, who's, uh, if, if you don't know, he also has a YouTube channel, and um, the good buddy of mine, we're actually working on a couple other projects on the side, we'll announce in the future, but he, he created a, a GitHub repo um, just called Amazing Developers on YouTube, which has over 200 different YouTube channels, and it actually was like one of the most followed ones when it came out, and it was over, you know, it's not. It's only been out for like less than two weeks, something like that, and it's got almost fifteen hundred stars. Um, you know, people have forked it one hundred fifty times. Like, and he's just creating value for other people. And is, is he benefiting? Sure, we're all benefiting, right? Um, people like to follow people who give back to the community, and this is not an easy list to do. Let me tell you, when I was making my my five YouTube channels follow, a lot of them just weren't happening anymore. Like, uh, they weren't putting content out. Then you have to. Um, to go and you know see if these are channels you've recommended before or like where they're at and um you know but this is something hard and to to his um 
to his credit, he's actually continued to work on it and helped out. So now you can see that there's non-English uh, broken down and like, you know, this is something, a project that he's continuing to work on, taking pull requests, issues. And the thing here, and, and you know, broken it down by quite a bit, um, it's a sort of funny story. I was watching a Chris Hawks video. I was like, yo, Eric, dude. Chris kind of upset that you didn't throw him in tutorials. <laughs> and so I shot Eric I shot Eric the video and let him know. Um, so I think he moved him from information to tutorial. Uh, but it's it's pretty cool that, you know, resources like this. And uh, by the way, Eric, I, I know I, I say this, but I appreciate being the first one in information. I do. Top of the list, baby. Um, I just I submit a PR that just has all these uh, knocked out. But... The, the thing I'm trying to get across is that this is how we should be acting. We should be trying to help out the community. And by doing that, you'll help others. And you'll help yourself a lot of the times. And it's really nice to see that, you know, for all the negativity that's out there. And it's very easy to get focused on that, right? I think, uh, I forget the exact stat, but it's something like a negative memory is four times as powerful as like a, a positive or a neutral one, right? And I imagine that's the same for like being intriguing, right? People love the drama. People love this, love that. But the truth of the matter is, is that this is the type of stuff I like to see. This is the type of stuff why I go and I spend my time building some free courses, why I spend my time going to conferences, giving talks to, you know, get my message across, to share knowledge, to help out, right? And oftentimes it, you know, it helps me out in the process um, by just being the type of developer that you can see is passionate. And when I see other YouTube channels doing the right thing, I think it's worth mentioning because so often we don't, and just other developers in general, so often we're so sidetracked by the negative, so sidetracked by the drama. And most of the time, I think we forget that there are people who are trying to do better right there are people who are you know the majority of my channel is aspiring developers there are people who haven't made it yet there are people who are still in the grind and i don't want you to be distracted by the bullshit i want you to be focused about the stuff that matters and i want you to follow people who are out there doing the thing and doing what they should be doing for the community and not just for themselves right and um that doesn't mean that there, you can't do things for yourself. I do things for myself all the time. I'm doing this video to say thanks to other people, but also to create a video for the channel, right? It's not this one, it's, you know, it's not black and white, but I want us to start thinking about, you know, who are the people that we want to look up to and who are the, who, who is the person you want to be? Because there's so much content out there that naturally some of it's going to be bad and naturally a lot of it's probably going to be good, but you have to start making, you know, these... You, start, you have to start asking questions to yourself and not just taking things at face value. And so when we, when I see people doing positive things and putting things out there, I, I'm going to start mentioning it more often than, than I do. Um, you know, oftentimes I have my videos planned. All those are videos on that back whiteboard. I'm just going to start making videos talking about it because I want people to know. I want you to go and fi follow this, you know, dev uh, YouTube list so you can see what's out there, see what's, you know, where your resources are, see what you're looking for cuz not all 200 plus channels are going to be relevant to you, but maybe 10 are. 10 good YouTube channels can change your life, right? I just did a video the other day about how Derek Bonus 3-hour tutorial changed my life. Angular JS tutorial changed my life. 2 3 weeks before that, I, I didn't have a dev job. I did that. I built my little website. Got a dev job in, working in AngularJS, my very first role because of that. And, you know, these are good things. And people who are putting stuff out there that, because that's, it's, creating content is not an easy thing. No matter if it's a GitHub repo, a video, a podcast, a book, whatever it is, it's taking the abstract and making it concrete. And it, that's a difficult process. That's in fact, their entire job as software engineers, we're taking something up here and we're bringing it down here into the real world. And it's a, it's a complex thing that it, it's hard to do. Um, which is why it bothers me so much when we have people plagiarizing content and claiming it as their own, because someone put their hard work, time, energy, into that and then you're just like yo no it's mine uh, <laughs> um not to throw shade uh, but sometimes you throw shade where shade should be thrown uh, <laughs> but with that all being said guys 
I I hope you check it out. I'll include links to um to Eric's repo, and um I'm sure you guys are already subscribed to Traversing Media, but I'll throw I'll throw a, a link there as well. I got nothing but love for all my fellow YouTubers. Uh, we may not always agree. We may not always uh, think the same things, right? But I, I generally respect everyone who's out there hustling to, um, you know, make their money, uh, but do it in a in a uh, honorable way that's good for the community. And I respect the people who are actually trying to help others. And I, I think that's worth mentioning. So I want to thank um, everybody who's out there. Who And by the way, we only gave two examples. I have no doubt there are a dozen more. Um, and we'll make more videos about it in the future. But as of right now, thank you to everybody who is out there creating content for people and making it, you know, helping people learn and do better and educate themselves and transform their lives at the end of the day. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And if you're interested in any of my courses for the stuff I want to shill that I worked very hard on, <laughs> there are links to that in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.